Okay, so now we will take a look at this question, which focuses on the use of quantity and value method to solve the question. So there are three fifths as many boys as girls at a party, and each boy is given four balloons, and each girl is given two balloons. Total number of balloons received by the boys is 200 more than the girls. Okay, so when we look at this question, we have a fraction here, okay, that describes the quantity of boys versus the girls. All right, so you can think of creating a ratio out of this fraction. So take note for this question, you have boys, girls, and you have balloons. Okay, so you might want to have an idea of um, the idea of quantity and value. But of course, to know how to identify what exactly is your quantity. Is it the boys, girls, or is it the balloons? Okay, the idea of quantity pairing the value comes in. So the boys and girls carrying the balloons, or is it the other way around? Now, of course, the one that makes sense is the boys and girls carrying the balloons, right? Okay, so the boys and girls will be your quantity ratio, 3 to 5. Whereas the value will be the balloons that they are holding on to. Okay, so this is how we recognize a quantity and value concept in this case. Okay, so we are able to use the quantity and value table because I can create, like I said, I can create a quantity ratio out from this fraction over here. Okay, so we're going to prepare to draw that table. So what versus what, of course, will be boys versus girls. And your three headings here, you have quantity, value, as well as total value. So now, quantity in this group, okay, so whenever I draw my QV table, I'll just call it QV table for short, a QV table basically is a group on its own, okay? So this is one group. And we, need, we now need to decide what do I put into this one group here, okay? So quantity means how many boys in this one group, how many girls in this one group. So the number of boys, the lowest possible number of boys is your three boys, okay? So I hope you can understand the fraction, um, the significance of the numerator and denominator. This is your boys, five is your girls because it's comparing between the two groups, right? Three fifth as many boys as girls, okay? So that means in one group, I can have three boys and five girls. But of course, the real number of boys and girls that exist in this question um, definitely could be multiples of three, multiples of five. Right? Okay, just that 3 and 5 is the smallest possible number. Now, value, moving on to value. So what does value mean? Okay, so value in this case, like I say, is the balloons, right? Because the children carry the balloons. Now, in fact, to be clear, this is the balloons per person. Okay, so balloons per child. I'll just put per child. All right, that means each boy carries how many balloons? So what we know from the question is each boy carries four balloons, whereas each girl carries two balloons. All right? And total value. So total value naturally means the total balloons that this group of boys is holding, total balloons that this group of girls is holding. Okay? So I have three boys here, but each boy holds four balloons. So simply three times four, to get 12 balloons for all the three boys. So in fact, your three times four, you can write it straight in here. You can do three times four equal to 12 in here. That's fine, you don't have to do it here. Okay, let's move on to the girls also. So girls, same thing. Each girl is two balloons, but since I have five girls, so five times two, that will be 10 balloons for one group of girls. All right, now once this is done, one group, Set already, we read on. Total balloons received by the boys is 200 more than the girls. So when we see this 200 more, you must be able to identify that this is also known as your total difference. Why do we use the word total here? Okay, we, can have, we could have just said difference, you're right, but why do we include the word total? Because there are many, many of these groups and all these groups' differences all contributes adds up to 200. Okay, so now we get to look at one group then, of course. Okay, we don't know how many of these groups contribute to a difference of 200 balloons. 
That's why this is where we look back at one group. Now ask yourself, in one group, what should I do between the balloons value? Of course, I have to look at balloons here, 12 and 10, not anything else. Okay, so now I have to go on to find the difference in one group because why? I have 200, which is also the difference across all the groups. So obviously, back to one group, I must find out the difference. No point in finding the total. Okay, so difference in one group means the difference between boys and girls, as you can see, is a difference of two balloons. That means in one group, the boys receive two more balloons than all the girls. Now, but this is only for one group. So just now, as I mentioned, there must be many of these small groups existing to contribute to a difference of 200 balloons. So that is our next step to find the number of groups. Okay, so how to find number of groups? A difference is two balloons. Another difference will be four. Another difference will be six. So you see this difference all keep multiplying until you get 200 balloons. So to find number of groups, okay, we have to do the division. 200 divided by two. And that will give us 100 groups. So that means there are 100 of these groups. Of course, you are not going to draw 100 of these groups out. Okay, so just know that it's 100 of this. Now, once you understand, you, uh, once you get the number of groups already, we read back the final question to see what we need to find. We want how many boys? We want the number of boys. So we ask ourselves the same question, how many boys? But this time we ask ourselves for one group. In one group, how many boys are there? So how many boys? We look at the quantity. Not the value, not total value, because this two is for balloons. Okay, so number of boys, we look at quantity. Now, one group, I see three boys. However, since I know there are 100 groups, of course, I have to take 100 times three to get the actual number of boys at the party. 